Welcome! In this video, we visualize the configuration space of a convex planar polygonal robot moving amid convex planar polygonal obstacles. Visualizing the contact surfaces in this video is based on their explicit parametrization that we developed. On the right, we see the workspace with the green robot where the black dot is the robot's reference point. Obstacles are colored in red. On the left, we see the corresponding configuration space where each point corresponds to a unique pose of the robot in the workspace. The orange configuration point on the left represents the configuration as captured on the right. Finally, the configuration point is equipped with a fixed frame. White arrows point in the XY directions and the purple in the angular one. We study the correlation between various motions in the workspace and the corresponding motions in the configuration space. First, in order to keep the configuration space clear, we discuss the case where there are no obstacles. Then, we introduce obstacles and investigate the new look of the configuration space. The simplest motion is a pure translation. Moving along the vertical line corresponds to a rotation about the reference point. Here, the configuration point moves on a plane parallel to the XY plane and has no vertical component. Due to the periodic nature of rotations, the vertical direction can either be a copy of the real line or a copy of the interval from 0 to 2 pi with endpoints identified. When the angle reaches 2 pi, the configuration point jumps back to 0. On the left is a piecewise linear path in the configuration space. The corresponding motion in the workspace consists of both translations and rotations. When the robot rotates about one of its boundary points, its reference point traverses a circle in the workspace. In the configuration space, this motion is represented by the circle lifted, namely a helix. Such helices are easy to parameterize and are the building blocks of the parametrization of the contact surfaces as we will see next. When the robot rotates about one of its vertices, such that it touches an edge of an obstacle, such a helix appears. Changing the contact point along the obstacle's edge yields congruent copies of that helix, and in turn, the corresponding contact surface. We can now remove the helix's part which correspond to poses of the robot where it encroaches the obstacle. We are then left with the free part of the contact surface. Similarly, we can visualize the case when the robot's edge touches an obstacle's vertex. In this case, each helix has different radius and thus the resulting surface is geometrically more complicated. Again, we can remove the forbidden parts where intersections occur. We are now ready to have a look at the full representation of an obstacle. The space portion bounded inside the pillar-like object is the forbidden space. The free space is outside the pillar. We will now consider various contacts, starting with vertex-vertex, shown as a blue helix, then sliding along edge-edge contact, shown as a yellow line segment, along a fixed vertex-edge contact, shown as a red cylindrical surface patch, fixed edge-vertex contact, shown as a green ruled surface patch, edge-edge contact again, and finally, varying vertex-edge contact. 
we now come back to the same setting we started with. The configuration point will traverse the purple polygon, which corresponds to the motion through the narrow passage in the workspace, several times. First, here is an overview of the final setting. The polygon goes in a tunnel between the pillars. Here it enters. We start with a workspace free from obstacles. Then we will add the obstacles and see how the configuration space's complexity increases. Remember, on the right you can always see the workspace and its current setting. Note how the configuration point comes close to a red surface patch corresponding to a vertex edge contact. The almost vertical line corresponds to a rotation about the reference point with little translation component. And next, a vertex-vertex contact, represented in the configuration space by the blue helices. With obstacles on both sides, the configuration point flies through a tunnel. Finally, we come back to the full scene we started with. The window we see on the left is an alternative motion through the narrow passage. The robot can maneuver between the obstacles and escape back the way it entered only in a reversed orientation. We, however, conclude this video sticking to the purple polygon. Thank you for your attention.